31-year-old Nigel Sinclair is in the last stage of terminal cancer. Yeah. Nigel and his family believe he's soon to be the latest legacy from a chemical exposure which they say has killed his father, his uncle and many of their mates. Before Nigel dies, he wants to know how a tragedy like this could happen. At this very late stage, what would be the very best outcome for you? You know, it's like, in, like answers, really, just to, so my nana can rest and you know, I can rest and my, me and my family can rest and put it to rest. I'm lucky that he's still with us and still going. He has his moment where he'd like to have his closure. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, hundreds of men were employed by the various state governments around the country to spray noxious weeds. Today, many are sick and many are dead. A lot of the boys end up being the same, fading away near enough to nothing. Doctors turn and just, yeah, feed your medication, kill the pain. You're right, you'll be right. And next thing you know, they're dead. Nigel's father was one of about 320 men in the West Australian Kimberley who sprayed herbicides for the state's Agriculture Protection Board, or APB. Now, there are reports of the sprayers' partners and children getting sick. I think that they should have a close look, epidemiologically and clinically, at the children of those APB workers. I think that they should suspect that they'll have huge problems to deal with. Mr Hunter, Nigel's father, was one of many Indigenous men who joined the government spraying teams. They should work from sun up to sundown for what pay they got, little knowing that they're going to die later on in later years. What the men didn't know was the herbicides they were spraying from backpacks were the same chemicals used to make Agent Orange in the Vietnam War, 245T and 24D, which were contaminated with dangerous dioxins. Poison was carried on the same vehicle as their water drums and their swags and everything. We used to get soaked with the poison. They slept in it, worked in it for 10 days at a time. And all their clothes will get washed at home. It wasn't an accidental spill on any work day. Their bodies were exposed to the herbicide all day. And I'm not talking about eight hours in the day, but 24 hours a day, every day, every week, for months and years. I can't conceive of anywhere where the exposure has been so intense and at such a level and for so long. <laughs>